Hello everyone! Since my previous video, how to edit and record a League of Legends montage was successful and that I'm aware not everyone has a dough, I decided to show you how to edit a montage using free software. In this video, I will be using DaVinci Resolve 16 by Blackmagic Design. I'll leave a link below from where you can get it. It is three video editing programs. I'm using again Streamlabs for recording the sequences and League Director for making set sequences. The reason I like to use a third party recorder is that I find it easier and less complicated to work with the recorder clips. League Director Recorder only has WebM and PNG options and I find both tedious to work with. Again, in the beginning I will do the same as I did for my how to record and edit a League of Legends montage video that I will link below. Start by downloading the game and start the replay. And start League Director. If you want a walkthrough of how to use League Director, an explanation about what these tabs are, I do have a 4 episode tutorial that you can watch. I'll leave the link on the top right right here. Again, make sure this tab is checked, and I know I have two tabs here. Some of you will probably have just one, that is fine. This is the most important one. It needs to be selected in order for your League Director to connect. As always, I start by pressing F9 to be able to move between my screens, or if you have only one screen, to be able to move between League Director window and the game replay. You know that you have pressed F9 because of the red outline you see around the replay. After I select my player, I go looking for the kills I made during this game and look at which I want to add into my montage. Start making sequences. A few things I want to mention is to make sure you always keyframe your general tabs such as the skybox and the fog after you made the edits. When making the sequences, always be sure that the tab apply sequence is not selected after a played sequence because your camera will be blocked if it's selected. Make sure the FPS camera is chosen if you want free movement of the camera and lastly, if you use the recorder to make your clips, use only the PNG format, because DaVinci doesn't really support WebM. I have a video on how to edit a PNG clip using DaVinci and again I will link that below or at the card up here. Moving on, I will fast record my clips in the background and show you next how to edit it. To edit the montage, I start by making a project, then dragging the clips I just recorded into the media pool and then onto the timeline. You can edit the resolution by simply right clicking on the timeline video and select timeline settings. You can custom change the theme by clicking here. I like what I have here so I will just let them as they are. I will move onto the edit tab on the bottom on the screen and I start to edit the clips to cut out what I don't need. To get rid of the red outline, I change the zoom on the clip by 
Next, I play with the transition effects, trying to find one I like. I add an adjustment layer. You can find it in FX. I put it on top and make sure it is on composite mode add. I want to add to it a filter to highlight the kill. I chose box blur under open FX, then filters, and then resolve FC blur. I make the flicker effect by making a keyframe every time I change its opacity. You make a keyframe by clicking on the diamond icon right here. Lastly, I add an intro, an outro, and music to the video. I think the music is too loud, so I play with the volume of it until I'm happy. I move on to the delivery tab at the bottom of the screen, and here is where you render the video you just made. You write the name of the video, select the place you want it to be rendered to, and make sure the single clip is selected, otherwise individual clips will be saved separately. For the format, I always go for MP4 and press on Add to Render Queue. The video will show on the right. Press on Start Render and you only have to wait. If you like this video, please give it a like and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I always read them and I try to answer all of them. If you want to see more of this kind of tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I release a new video. I hope to see you all in the next video. For now, stay safe and bye!